Hey everyone, so with the Africa pack 181 pieces got added to the game and I'm going to go through all of them, give my opinion on them and yeah, honestly, the Africa pack for me is saved by the pieces. If you've seen my meerkat habitat video, you will know my opinion on the animals, which is that they're kind of disappointing and bland in my opinion, but the pieces perfection well not perfection i like most of them there are some that i'm just like yeah uh, let's move on to the other pieces but i'm not going to go through all of the pieces that got added with the update because they are free you are getting them either way but the africa pack pieces you have to pay for of course so let's get started with the pieces first off we get window panels which aren't see-through they are kind of like the window panels that you have behind the windows that you can just place on walls. So they do give off light, which is nice. However, if you look behind, they just completely disappear. They are a mirage. But yeah, so we have those pieces. We have two versions of them. One just a square, the other one rectangular, one by two meters. Then we have... The reward statue for the Africa pack scenario, or at least the scenario that was in the Africa pack, I haven't played it, but the Fennec Fox. I'm going to have to say this again, I like the modded version of the Fennec Fox more than the Frontier version, but that's because the modded model of the Fennec Fox is a lot fluffier. I just love fluffy animals. But yeah, that's the statue that you get for finishing the scenario that comes with the pack. And then we get two mosaic style signs for the rhino and the African penguin. And then we get the Egyptian style signs. I would say that the this one is also still Egyptian, but like I like the mosaic ones. I I'm not the biggest fan of Egyptian architecture or Egyptian style in general so I might be biased against these signs. They are good signs they're just not really my style I don't ever see myself really using any of these. But then we get to the ceramics slash mosaics. There's a lot of them. I'm going to start here because otherwise if I start here all of these will just completely turn blue and you won't see the patterns. But yeah, there's a lot of them. I think, yeah, this one is a little bit different than this one. Not just pattern style, but there are white spots here that aren't recolorable, while this one is completely recolorable. So there's that to note. But yeah, we have a lot of... I'm going to call them mosaics, but in-game they're called ceramics. But there's a lot of them. And. Well this one is just going to drive all of the mosaic builders crazy. Because so far we had to use. Or they had to use. The. I think it's like the electrical box. Now they have an actual ceramic tile or mosaic. And then we have strips. Then the archways. The dromedary camels in between them. But um. Uh, these are all the archways. I love this one because this like checkered look. You can easily make it. Well, easily you can make it. It's just a little bit tedious. So I like to use this one. I have used it in my upcoming Fennec Fox build. And then haven't used this one so far. I have used this one in my uh, Meerkat build. And... I honestly thought there would be like an accompanying window with it. Because it's... It's a window archway. Well, you can... Maybe you... Maybe the Fennec Foxes will be able to get through it. Definitely the Meerkat should be able to get through it. But yeah, I thought there would be an accompanying window, but there isn't. And then, uh, To move on from the archways. Why are there more things for the Dromedary Camel than there is for the actual animals that are in-game? Like, there are more signs for the dromedary camel than there are for the actual in-game animals. I like them. It's just strange. <laughs> and we have plates. I'm a sucker for gold, so I like the golden ones more. 
the colorable ones generally follow the style of the mosaics slash ceramics. I'm still calling them mosaics. We have a door handle, which probably is to go on top of this door. Yep, it actually, with position snap, it clicks right in. I don't like this door. I'm just going to have to say it. I don't like this door. Just not my style. Not a bad piece, just not my style. Superdia. Can't really have an opinion on them because, well, I never really place education signs. Then we have the fences, which for some reason don't stick upright if you place them. Which, alright. I did hope that these were going to be recolorable, but they are not, but at least they're gold. The fence post is recolorable though, so there's that. Then we have two fountains. And I mean, I like these. I, I, Especially this one, just with the palm tree and such. I like the fountains, I just like to have fountains in general. Then, the lamppost. At first I was very happy with this lamppost, but the more I look at it, the more it just something doesn't click for me. Again, not a bad piece, it's just not really my style. Or at first it was my style, but then I looked at it and it just sort of fell out of favor. It sounds like I'm a 15th century king. <laughs> a lattice work, which I've already used in the Mirka build, which allowed me to build those Moroccan style towers without making it 10,000 pieces. Then we have a bracket, which probably is for like, to put something on top of, maybe, no, doesn't slot onto, but you could like put one of those signs on top of it. I just like it because it's gold. I like shiny things. I'm a squirrel. Of course I like shiny things. We have a planter, like most things, and then a lot of beams. They're all a little bit like twisty and such, which I like. I don't, I don't like having like perfect beams. Then they come in like one, two, and three. Not one, two, and three. They come in one, two, and four. I'm always kind of curious why there's never a three meter version. But yeah, everything so far in one way or another is recolorable. Then we have a canopy. So like I really love that a lot of this is recolorable, like this is recolorable, this. Like I didn't, well the fences sadly aren't, but I didn't think that this bracket would be recolorable. And then we come into the more, well, a lot of plaster blocks. And I don't hate these, like they are generally going to be very good for building, but um... Some of them I just won't see myself building with, especially this one. Like if I build a quarry, then I could use it. But that huge one, I don't really see myself using it. We have a lot of smaller ones, which the smaller the piece, the better for me. And then the columns or the pillars. They, they just don't click for me. I'm just going to have to say that they don't, they are not bad pieces. They just don't click for me. Like they're... I was very excited when I saw them, but now that I have them, I'm just like, where can I use them? I don't know where. But they all come in like a large version, a small version. And uh, yeah, especially this one. Like I can see myself using it on top of one of my custom domes, but... Uh, Beyond that, I don't really... Yeah, I can see myself using these ones and maybe these. These two, probably not as much. And then we get the more Western African. Well, it says North African, so I'm probably wrong here. <laughs> well, probably, definitely. But we have these, which... I want to use them as runestones in Valhalla for some reason. Then we have a lot of decals. Again, I these are good pieces. I just don't see where I would use them. But that's maybe just because uh, it's not really my style. 
like good that they are here. I just don't know where I would use them. And then more plaster pieces. Like there's a lot of plaster pieces. Then there's the dome. Again, I'm going to be honest here. I like my own custom built domes a lot better. Because this one is like... There's only one version of it, as you can see. So you are really limited to like what size building you can place this on. Because if your building is too large or too small, this just won't fit. If it's too large, it will just look tiny. If it's too small, this will just be like an umbrella on top of it. So I like my own custom domes better. And then more plaster pieces. <laughs> There's a lot of plaster pieces. And... A lot of um, variations, <laughs> well, size variations. Like, I think half of the pieces in this pack are plaster pieces. <laughs> Which is good in a way, because they that means they are recolorable and they fit in with the existing plaster pieces. It's just kind of funny how much there is. Like these archways. I didn't realize that this archway actually came with the pack. I thought that we, we had this normal round plaster archway already but evidently we did not then trims which i used to make these out of the brick pillars like the painted brick pillars so i'm not happy now that i don't have to use three pieces for something that now uses two or well six pieces to make this entire thing a lot of more plaster pieces i like the decorated like the small tiny ones and then you have something to put on top of it to make it rounded. Like, I like these plaster pieces. Again, because they sl just slot in with the existing plaster pieces that we already have. Don't really like these windows as much as these. But then I'm generally more favoring the Arabian styles in this pack. Or the... Not Arabian. Like, the developers already said th that this was inspired by Moroccan... Like that area of Africa. But you can easily use them also for your Arabian bills of course. And then rope. I like that we actually got new rope. They should also... Maybe are climbable, maybe are not. They are not tagged as climbable. So... I might have to look and see if they are climbable but my experience with planet zoo is if it's not tagged as climbable even if it looks climbable it's not going to be if it's not tagged climbable so i'm going to wait and see if this is actually climbable we have some rope knots the well they are the rope tassels i just thought carpet tassels <laughs> when i saw them in the trailer we have more statues. Well, actually the first of the... No. no. We have the Fennec Fox reward statue. For some reason it came up earlier in the list. I like the penguin ones. They're just like, what the hell did you say, bitch? <laughs> like that? Why is that my thought process seeing this penguin statue? We know that I am not generally the biggest fan of Egyptian style statues again so they're not bad statues it's just not my style the rhino if I'm right yes they are completely recolorable so you can just uh, if I'm correct just turn this whole thing brown uh, but it's not entirely recolorable there are definitely some pieces there that aren't also fun little thing that I found out if you put filters on, like the Africa pack, and then close the construction tab and open it again, the tag is gone. Or the filter is gone. It's still filtered. You can't just unfilter it from here. You have to go into the menu. That's just something, and uh, maybe that was before this pack already, and I just didn't notice, but yeah, just something I found out. Then we have some canopies. These are actually like you can see through the glass. And it's recolorable. So I want recolorable glass. We have a shop front. 
which I'm probably not going to use because it's just a little bit too much for me. But then we have the light. This is the light that I do really like. Like the other light that's buried over there somewhere. Also, yeah, we're in my build too, so there's my builds in the background. Like this light, I'm going to bring it over. I, I'm mixed about this light, but I do like this light. Again, the filter is gone, but yeah, it's like this. African top t pieces. So. And again, it's a, there's a lot of like the same piece, but just in like different sizes, which I love. The windows, well, I expected them to have like a blacked out background, which they don't. So you can easily slot them over other windows. So in a way, all right. We have another statue. So this is the chimpanzee reward statue. Is there another scenario that I didn't notice when looking through the pack? But yeah, there's another statue. Let's bring the Fennec Fox statue actually over from there. So, compared to the other statues, the reward statues are tiny. <laughs> but yeah, so there's that. We have more beams, which I might actually use instead of the pillars. We have one carved version. Arbor, can somebody explain what this is? <laughs> like, this is... Definitely just Poison Blade is a dumbass, because I don't know what these what these are. I thought that these would be like in windows, like such as... Well, don't fit here, but uh, that they would be like uh, this. Am I correct here, or am I wrong? <laughs> I don't know what an arbor is. And then, uh, well, it says arbor here. I've been using these pretty much in every build so far. Like these, you can use these, I think, in every build. Like, they are not specific to, like, an African style. These, this one maybe is a little bit more African, Moroccan, Arabian style. But these, these are pretty much, you can use them everywhere. These are just wooden panels. Facilities, I will need to place a pot for this one because, well, they're all... On a pot. <laughs> and it's pretty easy. Therefore, ball tree, if you don't like the canopy, doesn't uh, have to be there. I need to make a bigger pot, otherwise, I can't place these things. So, here, facilities. We have a bin, which I like. Bench, not as much. I just, I just don't like benches with like a canopy on top of them. And then we have a picnic bench. Just, let's place this. Foliage pieces. I think I like all of them. Well, all of them, there's one thing that I don't like. The African oil palm. For some reason, it goes into the ground, even though the stump is generally, like, way too far into the ground so you have to maybe rise them up a little bit and i am tried making these myself custom and frontier like unlike with the fennec fox in which i like the modded version better or the dome in which i like my custom version better i like these palm trees a lot better than the ones that i tried to make these i've been using in every planter i just like them because they're tiny and I can use them as like a houseplant kind of vibe. But then the next, like, this is all like gradual build up. Next version of this palm tree. Mm, <laughs> there's just a. Like, it just feels like there's one size missing between these three. Or. Between those two and between those two that there's a size missing. But alright. Dragon's blood tree. Alright, this is the most metal tree. 
Who named this tree? I don't like it. It's, but especially because of the name. Drin gl Glass? <laughs> Grass. I don't know whether I like these ones better than the aquatic pack version, although the aquatic pack version of the grass doesn't sway in the wind. If I unpause it or unpause the game, this one should sway in the wind, so there's that. It should actually work better for Kian Albasha because it's like dry and such. Now we have the fever tree. This is the one that I don't like, even though it's accurate to the fever tree in real life. I just don't like I like the leaves as such. I don't like the bark, but that's because yeah, for me the bark is just a little bit too smooth. But it is accurate to how the fever tree is in real life. From what I looked up. Natara bush. Or Nitraria. A flowery bush. Why was my first thought here? Like, my first thought with the rhino sign that's there was sewer grade. Or not sewer grade, like a sewer cover, sewer drain cover, something like that. Here I just thought cotton plant. Like, if you stack these up, it looks like a cotton plant. I will probably use it as such. Or I'm just very misguided on how a cotton plant looks like. Then we have what's called the quiver tree, which... Mm, it First off was, oh, this is that tree, but just recolored. But it is different. Like, none of these are, like, completely the same. So it's different, but... From far away, it's going to look like th these trees just recolored. But they're not. And this one was my, the most interesting tree for me. The sausage tree. <laughs> Who named this thing? <laughs> Who found this thing? Why did nature create this thing? It's a nice looking tree, but... Yeah, it does look like hanging sausages. Yeah, it does. But like, why does this exist? I will probably actually use most of this. Just not the fever trees, because I just really... Again, they are accurate. Well, that's... That's a little bit weird that the things are just like very different colors there. They don't blend too well but yeah for all these are i think all of the pieces well there's the toys and such that we get for the animals so it's four <laughs> where you get four things for the animals a small bubble machine so that we get a tennis ball which is bouncy we get one where the meerkats are for some reason i can't there we're just going to place it there. But yeah, the mirror gets clipped through it and they poke out here instead of the hole. And then we have what I thought was a disco ball. I think it is a disco ball. Does it actually light up? <laughs> I want to see if it actually lights up. It does. So it is a disco ball. But yeah, that's basically all of the pieces that are in game. And for the majority of them, I will probably use them. Like, they really fit well with Kean Abushar. I still like my own custom domes better. I still like the model for the Fennec Fox from the mods better than from Frontier. But that's because I love floofy bits or floofy animals. And the foliage amazing a lot of plaster pieces there's a lot of plaster pieces i generally like i would buy this pack just for the pieces when it comes to the actual animals yeah like they're nice but for most of them you can have mods at least if they update them because 
every mod has been broken by the update and the bug, so we just wait a little bit and probably most of the mods will be repaired so that they can work again. But yeah, when it comes to the pieces, I love them. A lot of them can be versatile, a lot of them are recolorable. Well, versatile, some of them are... Well, the plastic pieces are very versatile. These lattices are very versatile. The other things are a little bit more like specific to a certain team. But yeah, that's going to be it. As I said, I love the pieces. For me, they kind of saved the pack because I was disappointed with the meerkats and the rest of the animals. I don't really expect too much from them. But the pieces, I love and they saved the pack for me. So tell me what you guys think about the pieces. Do you like them or are you just kind of meh about the entire pack or do you love the pack and the animals? Just let me know what you think and then I'm going to sign off. So hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, there's the like and subscribe button if you want to see more. And there's a notification button. But before that one starts working, the meerkats will be interesting. So with that being said... Have a wonderful day, guys. Bye-bye.